Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, May 12th, 2022. Now let's take a rain break. Right now though, just take a moment or two. Take a deep breath, breathing in through the nose. And then breathing out through the mouth. As you breathe out, if you haven't done already, just gently closing the eyes. Just feeling the weight of the body sinking down. Noticing how the body's feeling today. Respecting that, making sure you take time out if you need it. That was just what I needed to start the day off right. Now for word of the day. Hey Sonia, how did you get so much money in Monopoly? You had like thousands. Oh me? I was just bluffing. Bluff? Like a high speed pop? <laughs> no, it's when you pretend to have more than what you actually do. Oh, I see. So you pretended to have more money than you actually did to trick your opponents. Yes ma'am. Oh, well maybe I should try that next time. See you tomorrow on word, word of the day. day. I love expanding my vocabulary. Let's check in with Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Valencia. Sports fans, imagine losing your shoe at the start of a race and still going on to win. That's what happened to seven-year-old Lele Crawford, daughter of famous boxer Terence Crawford, in a 200-meter race that has gone viral. Lele went back for her right sneaker while the competition took off, yet still managed to overtake and best them by quite a distance. Her famous father said, She doesn't have a clue how much she just motivated me. Lele is the definition of not giving up. She definitely is a foot above the rest. Now let's see what's cooking with Joshua. Thank you, Scott. Patriots, make sure you hold on to today's lunch. We have walking taco, turkey tacos, tortilla rounds, crunchy celery sticks, ranch dressing, sliced apples, taco sauce, and your taste of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving less today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Joshua. Tacos sound fun. Scholars, today 7th and 8th grade will be taking their math at the same. Good luck and get some rest tonight because tomorrow you'll be at it again. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Patriots, this Saturday is our new family's event. We look forward to welcoming all you to the Pines family. And finally, the Pines Cheerleaders will be hosting our first ever student versus staff limpsing battle next week, Thursday, May 19th. If you'd like to accept the challenge of taking on one of our staff members in this event to remember, please see Ms. Stone in room 189 or ask your teacher to reach out. You must choose a school-appropriate song and bring your own props. Now let's see what the world is going to be like today with Aiden. Thank you, Valencia. Good morning, Patriots. When you get out of school, expect a nice showering 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Looks like a good time to catch up on some homework considering it's going to be raining. In other weather news, quicksand is something you should watch out for. Three people were walking on the beach when they saw something unusual. A camel. This camel got stuck in quicksand. Quicksand is just a pretty thick mixture of water and sand or silt. Fun fact, in the movies, sometimes you'll see a person stuck in quicksand. It may look like they're actually drowning, but you can't drown in it. At most, it'll just go up to your chest. Just make sure to look out and avoid the sticky situation. Now let's go to Destiny for today's birthdays. Today's birthday boys and girls are Daphne Arias, William Marcos, Brianna Nieves, and Kaylin Velaz Delgado. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Valencia. 
Thank you, Destiny. Here are your pet's expectations. Here present. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Denqua, Miss Onley, Miss Stone, and Miss Sheriff. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what is the common name for dried plums? The correct answer is prunes. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What does BMW stand for in English? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmo.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and board focus. Have a great day.